The next structure we are going to talk about is the ring. Okay, in groups we had a set along with one single binary operation. That operation had to be associative and we need to have an identity element as well as all inverses for all elements. In a ring, we have again a set of course, but we have now two operations and we will call these addition and multiplication, but again, these are generic names. And in this structure, in a ring, addition and multiplication are binary operations on A and this, the set A along with addition forms an abelian group. This is the first condition, which means the structure A with addition is a, an abelian group means you have uh, the, the addition associative and also commutative and you have an identity element with respect to addition and all elements with respect to addition have inverses. That's the first condition. Number two, multiplication is associative. Okay, it's associative. And number three, multiplication distributes over addition. And this is the definition of distributivity. And it goes both ways. X times Y plus C equals XY plus XC. And at the same time, Y plus C times X from right equals yx plus zx. Now here, be careful. Uh, A with addition is an abelian group, but A with multiplication may not be. It's associative, but we don't even require an identity element with respect to multiplication, let alone commutativity. Okay, so uh, of course, with typical examples include uh, our familiar addition and multiplication. So. Um, set of integers along with the familiar addition and multiplication, it forms a ring. And uh, of course, the, the modular arithmetic along with the familiar addition in modular uh, algebra and also multiplication forms again a ring. And uh, the polynomial ring, this is a little bit more abstract. This is the set of polynomials in the indeterminate variable x. Uh, so this is uh, the set of real valued or real coefficients, uh, the polynomials with real coefficients, like uh, structures of the form where let's say i from zero up to n, a sub i uh, times x to the power i, such that uh, and here is a natural number and AIs are real numbers. Okay, so 3x or 2x squared minus 4 or 5 or um, x squared minus x plus 85 or x to the power 1000 minus 500 times x to the power 250 plus x cubed minus 1. These are all polynomials. And Along with addition and multiplication, among themselves, of course, uh, forms a ring. And here uh, you see uh, we do have an identity element with respect to uh, addition, of course, with addition, but also with respect to multiplication, which is one, but we do not have inverses with respect to multiplication. For instance, x, it's um, uh, its inverse would be one over X, but that is not in the set because the, the power here should be uh, a natural number. Okay, so the polynomial ring is again quite important. And we also have the famous Boolean ring, the set of uh, our uh, truth values zero and one along with exclusive or and instead of multiplication, we have the AND operation. This gives us the Boolean ring. And this is quite important and it, it occurs in a lot of applications, but be careful, uh, addition here is not OR. If you put OR here, uh, the, the, the underlying group will not be an abelian group. It will not even be a group. Therefore, uh, it, it's, it's not going to be a ring. This has to be XOR. Uh, for any set A, the power set along with 
a symmetric difference as your addition operation and intersection as your multiplication forms again a ring. Here again, we do not have union. Instead of that, we have symmetric difference. This has, uh, this is no coincidence that uh, the e exclusive or seen here is in the definition of symmetric difference because in, in, in essence, these have a very similar structure. Um, now, the underlying group is an abelian group, so it's already commutative with respect to addition. But if uh, also the, the multiplication is a commutative operation, we call this a commutative ring. You do not confuse which one is commutative because this one is already commutative because we assume the underlying group is an abelian group. Okay? Um, so the set of real numbers with familiar addition and multiplication is a commutative ring, but the set of uh, two by two real valued matrices along with addition and matrix multiplication is a non-commutative ring because it, yes, it's a ring because it satisfies ring axioms, but it's the matrix multiplication is not commutative. And in addition, if there is an identity element in set A with respect to multiplication, then we call this a ring with identity. Okay. Of course, remember, there is an identity with respect to addition already because it's an abelian group. We are not talking about that identity. Um, in some texts, you can see that in, in the ring definition, this identity might have been included in the definition. So they do not talk about ring with identity. The, the ring they define it already has an identity, but there is some dispute over these definitions. Um, you have examples here, the multiplicative identity for uh, this ring uh, on set of integers is one. Also uh, the polynomial ring, the identity with respect to multiplication is one. But uh, for instance, with the multiplicative identity over the, the, the ring of two by two real valued matrices is the two by two identity matrix. On the other hand, take this ring. This is the ring on the set of even integers, zero, two, four, six, or you have the negatives minus two, minus four, etc. This does not have a multiplicative identity because it should have been one, but it's not in the set. You have the set of even numbers. So one is not included in the underlying set. So this is a ring, but it does not have an identity element with respect to multiplication. Finally, in, in the ring, if every element except zero, of course, zero cannot have a multiplicative inverse. Um, if every element except zero has multiplicative inverses, it is called a division ring. Why? Because now we can define a division operation through multiplicative inverses. You can define division x divides y as x multiplied, this multiplication here is this multiplication here, x multiplied by the inverse of y. So this is sort of a definition for division so if this is the case, if you have inverses for all elements except zero, this is what we call a division ring. And a division ring may not be commutative. You have to be careful about this. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a commutative ring. Uh, here's an example, the ring of real quaternions. This, I'm not going to explain what it is. It's, it's a peculiar structure. You can look it up. 